Uh, welcome everybody to a new episode with, uh, uh, normally it's called Who is the Player in FFK, but this time it's Who is the Player in the Future FFK, because uh, you're not uh, ready for us yet, you're going to play the season out in Scheid and then you're going to join us next year. How is your day, uh, Isma? Uh, my day has been fantastic so far. Uh, yeah, it's been fantastic. Yeah? Um, you have had quite a season. Absolutely. And um, I just, you know, the season has been great with the work of my uh, teammates and the coaches. So uh, they've really helped me a lot to develop my game. Mm -hmm. And also, we've been working together to get the team to the best position so far. So, yeah. I just want to give all the credit to the coaches and the players that supported me throughout my journey. Um, I remember in the, in the, uh, in the game uh, when we met you uh, on our stadium, uh, you were quite a menace, then uh, you were everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, um, you know, when you when we played them, um, we were like uh, building the team then, and it was really difficult to, to play at that moment. I think we, I don't know, I think we drew the last game before we came to Fredrikstad. I think we, we lost, I don't know. But I know we, when we came, we lost against Ferry Tower. Uh, the game was quite good, but we lost a lot of chances. And we could just, you know, it's about believing in, in the players and so on. So I think it's okay. Yeah. Um, are you surprised? Uh, I mean, uh, did, did you ex could you even imagine that Frederick Star would uh, manage to win so many games? Today, to be frankly speaking, I didn't actually expect uh, Freddy to make a move. But towards the end of the uh, the playoff, I was I, I spoke to my agent and he said, "This team, they're interested in you. I was like, yeah, it's a great club. I would really like you to be part of the family." So that's what I came. Yeah. Um. Uh, it's a three-year contract, right, that you have signed? Yeah, thank you. And my contract finish is not only three. Yeah. I, I really hope that uh, you will be part of uh, the team that will get us up uh, to the top. I'm, I'm going to try my best and work at listening to the coaches, instruction, and um, try not to be like a man, one-man player play for the team, not for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the team comes first and your personal achievement. So I'm just looking forward to the to the season, to the next season. I pray it's gonna be a good season for me also and likewise for the team. Yeah. And um, I, I really hope that uh, they can find some sort of vaccine uh, that they can get it out so that you can get to experience a full stadium with uh, over twelve thousand people. Uh, it's something. I can I, I can promise you that. I heard that there are a lot of um very a lot of fans. And I mean it's nice to be in the stadium with the fans. But I know the virus has been uh, it has been a tough situation for everyone, both the fans, the players. But I'm just looking forward to see them out of yeah. Um, wh what's your like your personal goals in in football? Uh, wh what is your dream? Actually, I want to play for one of the best teams in the world, and uh, I want to play Champions League. A lot of uh, uh, Europa Champions League. It depends, but I just want to play for the best team in the world because I have this. Um, I hope I'm gonna achieve that. Yeah. Yeah, I hope I'm gonna achieve that. But my dream is to just play for the best team and also play for my national team. So I'm gonna get a call up. So hopefully, I should. Well, it's uh, um, by uh, going up one uh, one uh, league, uh, and uh, if you do really well there, the 
that can be the way to get uh, to play regularly on the national team. Okay. Um, do you have any? Um, you you say that you want to play a Champions League and stuff like that. That that is your dream. Do you have any favorite team that you would? Uh, I love. I love. I love like um, uh, a lot of teams. Um, Liverpool. I don't, I watch Liverpool a lot. <laughs> I love Saudi money. Yeah, I love Liverpool. So. I watch Arsenal also. I watch. I watch Barca, Madrid. But I love. I love almost the top teams. In each league, because I watch a lot of um, um, a lot of leagues, the teams, how they play, how the players move, and so on. So it makes me to watch more Liverpool games. So, uh, I love Liverpool a lot. Well, it, you know, it's a uh, common history. You know, it's, there's been a lot of players that has played in the Norwegian leagues that go out and become professionals afterwards. So it's uh, it's a very good window to show yourself, uh, basically. Um, I mean, there must be uh, hundreds of players that have gone to to really good clubs. And lately, it's been a lot, a lot of young players that has moved from the Norwegian league to, to good clubs. So... Yeah, uh, if if you really if you work as hard as you possibly can, uh, there is a chance. There is a chance. So, but uh, something else. Um, who is uh, Ismail? Who are you? I'm just uh, a normal person, just like everyone. I'm basically from Nigeria. And, um, I just love football. Let me just say I'm a normal person. Normal person as, as everyone else. So I like to be friendly with everyone and be in a good shape and speak to people in a normal way and try to connect with them mm -hmm. and not like um, having to not speak to them. So you I'm seem like a normal person. You seem like a very happy person. Yeah, I'm yeah. always happy. Always. Do you have Even any hope? I'm in a bad situation, I feel, I feel happy. Like it, it just keeps me going because when you're not too happy and you're sad, you're moody, then it affects you in a negative way. So I'm a normal person. Yeah. It's, uh, it's always better to take things with a smile. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you have any hobbies? Yeah. I love um, playing table tennis. Uh, sometimes I go for bowling, but I'm not so good. Not so good. Um, yeah, I'm not so good. But I love um, table tennis. Yeah, table tennis a lot. Yeah, and I love reading sometimes, but not so much also. You're good at tennis. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I don't remember who it is, but there is another player in uh, in Fredericks though, which also likes tennis a lot. So uh, he said he's really good also. So uh, you you will probably uh, get to play him though. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. Okay, so you uh, you you say that you're just a normal person, which uh, takes things with a smile. You like tennis. You like bowling. Um, yeah. What's your favorite food? It's African food. I don't know if you there's a there's a what we cook um the beans. I mean, yeah. uh, there's like you know in in Norway for instance the the beans is inside a uh, like a pan. Like uh, they call it I think tomatoes stuff like this tomato beans. Yeah. But we cook beans in Nigeria, so it's basically I love beans and plantain. There's a fried plantain. Have you heard of it, right? Uh, no, uh, I have to uh, say that I haven't tasted much African. I tasted uh, African food last time we went to kindergarten, so it's, it's a few years ago. I love beans and plantain, rice and plantain, but plantain must be there because I love plantain a lot. Yeah, it's like uh, you know, banana, the yeah. big, they call it, uh, the big one, so you have to put it inside the granite oil and fry it. Uh, yeah. So delicious, you know. Uh, Few more years, few more years in Norway. You're probably gonna eat taco on every Friday as uh, everyone else. <laughs> okay. 
Have you, have you, have you tasted taco yet? Yeah, yeah. I, when, I, when, I, when I was in Belgium, I had tacos. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. But I don't really like, like eating much outside. That's why right, I, I normally cook. So always healthy to cook at home. Uh, I, I hardly eat outside uh, also. Uh, what's, your, what's your expectations for the next uh, season? Uh, how do you think it will go uh, from what you have seen from the club so far? Uh, what's your expectations for the next season? Uh, I believe, and I have this faith, that it's going to be uh, I'll say a good season. Because I, I watched the, the team play, and I think they got a lot of potentials. I have to work hard to be in the team also. Mm -hmm. So I'm just expecting the team to go far beyond what they expected also. And also for me to improve my game, like I said. Mm -hmm. And most especially, it's working for the team, not to pass my achievement. So I expect a great season, both yeah. for me and the team. Um. The position you play is, is a winger. Um, have you played that mostly, or have you played the striker mostly up up the years? I've changed a lot of. Uh, I've played a lot of positions throughout the, my years in all. Because when Tom Nolan was my coach mm. up here in August, I played from the right wing. I played from the from striker. And play from midfield. It's been like a different position. Just like this year, also I play from right wing, left wing, the attacking midfield. It depends on where the coach wanna put at that moment. But throughout this year, I play mostly from the from the left wing. What's your favorite position? Uh, left wing and attacking midfield. Yeah. Like behind the striker. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna it's gonna, gonna be exciting. Um, there is, uh, I can say that uh, us fans, um, we are very exciting to have you in the club. Um, there has been a lot of talk uh, on Facebook and stuff like that on social media, and um, everyone uh, pretty much is very excited to get you to the club. It must be nice to know that uh, people really want you. Absolutely. That's why, it, uh, like I said, it's uh, like a family. Football is like a family. When, yeah. when you connect to them, you connect with you. You just have to look properly prepared for the season. So you won't make, um, you won't, the, the expectations from the fans won't be like down and you cannot perform in well. Mm -hmm. But still, you don't have to be on, on under any pressure. You just have to be yourself there. Because there will be ups and downs in football, but still, you should be yourself. Yeah, very important. But it is like you're saying, football unites people. It's um, football. Uh, football is kind of, it's almost like a religion. It's, um, it's, it's something special. Absolutely. Uh, it, there's a question that I always ask the people that I interview, and uh, most people smile about it. Um, if you were going to be a superhero, uh, w what superhero would you want to be? I love myself like this. I don't want to be a superhero. Mm -hmm. I love myself the way I have. I don't want to be a superhero. So you don't want to be a superhero? It's enough to be uh, yourself? Nah. That's you when you're a superhero you have a lot of responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I, mean, I, <laughs> I mean I watch a lot of superhero movies and it's, it's more stressful than I so, so it's better to just be yourself, you know? Uh, that's the best that's the best. Just be the, like I said, just be the, the, the normal person, like I said. Uh, that's the because best better to be the normal person. Then That's the best reply I uh, ever had to that question. <laughs> uh, it's fantastic. Do you, do you play any golf? No, but I, I, there was a you know how do you call it? There's a, like a small golf. That yeah. You go to, mini golf. And you just yeah, mini golf. Then yeah. I went when I was in England, but no, I wasn't so good. But it was alright. 
there's a big risk that uh, you are going to be dragged down to, to the golf course because uh, pretty much everyone in Fredericksburg plays golf. So, uh, plays golf? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, then I have to practice more then. Yeah. Uh, it's a very big, uh, big thing there. Do you, uh, do you have any? Uh, do you have any favorite movie that you have seen? My, my um, movie interest in Vietnam because I love watching Korean movies. Huh? It's like I, I love this uh, historical, historical movie in Korean. The one they use the sword and they fight a lot and so on. But I love action movie. My, I think my favorite movie with, uh, I would say, Doctor Strange. Yeah, but that's a nice one. Uh, do, you, do you ever see any series? Stuff like that? Uh, I don't watch TV like that. Huh? No, I don't. That's a lot. Uh, do you play any video games? Yeah, I do play... I play FIFA and I do play Tomb Raider. Are you good at FIFA? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Well, not like so, so. I know there are a lot of people that are good in FIFA. But because I don't have the time to play much these days. Um, yeah. It's been busy season. And you have to focus for the league. So you can uh, get yourself in shape and so on. So I don't have much time. when I have to travel to training and so on. So, so it's been all right. Uh, I'm a bit not like perfect in FIFA, but I'm decent. Uh, but it's it's a it's a good way to I mean to to be, between all the matches it's nice to have some things to relax a little bit so um, um, uh, I personally think that uh, playing a bit FIFA and stuff like that is a good way to to get down basically between the between the ups. The only time I enjoy playing FIFA is when I maybe play with my friend online. Yeah. It's more fun than just playing alone. Yeah. So when you're playing alone, you're not talking to anyone. It's still like a bit boring. Yeah. So uh, what's uh, next for you? Are, uh, are you you are going to move to Frederickstown, right? Or yeah, I'm gonna move to Frederickstown. Possibly, uh, probably in January. January. Yeah. Fully, yeah. Fully. I'll fully move to Frederickstown. Yeah. But yeah. well, that's going to be nice. Um, we are uh, getting at the end uh, here. Um, is there anything you would like to to say to the people that are going to watch this? Uh, yeah, I'm actually happy to be part of the family, like I said, and um, I'm, I'm expecting to to be. I'd say I'm expected to be a normal person like I am. So I just want to wish everyone a great Christmas in December and yeah. see you guys soon uh, for the next season. Yeah. Uh, but um, that sounds nice. Uh, I'm really looking forward uh, to next year and see you in uh, training matches and uh, uh, see the team going again since the season is over for us now. So um, I wish you good luck with the remaining matches that you have for Scheid. Okay. And uh, yeah, um, good holidays and stuff like that when it comes. And uh, I, yeah, I really look forward to see you in, uh, in uh, white and red next season. It's, uh, it's uh, going to be awesome. Yeah. So, um, thank you, my friend, that you wanted to talk to me. Uh, very appreciated. And uh, uh, don't get hurt now in the remaining matches. Uh, we need you fit <laughs> for the next season. <laughs>